If we really look, uh, heaven and hell happens between our own ears or ribs or wherever we think that our mind is. And it's actually the way that we see things which is important for everything. But seeing things is like the beautiful roof of a house. We need more than that. We need to, for this to function a solid basis, a solid basis that's not on ice so that the house falls in the water in spring, right? And we need walls and they must have the same length, the same height, because if compassion is very much and wisdom is very little or vice versa, you know, the house looks funny and is not very useful. But if we have these two things, the level of behavior that means the police won't come and carry us away tomorrow or something like that, and also the level of motivation which brings in everybody's wish for happiness and is trying to be useful to them, then we can bathe with bliss in the high view. You know, we can really choose to see in all things that what is really perfect and what is meaningful. And this isn't even just what you would say, just uh, exchanging some, some mental plays or exchanging bad film for good film or anything like that. It isn't, it isn't that. Buddha tells us several times and very precisely that we don't need to die to go to a pure land and we don't need to go anywhere else to meet Buddhas. All we need to do is to polish our eyes. If we do that, then we will see that everybody is a Buddha, that everything, every atom vibrates with joy, is kept together by love, that everything is meaningful, whatever we say.